Hi. And Manji. <clears throat> I really didn't want to be coming on live tonight. Um, I'm a mother. I'm a Christian mother. I'm a Nevadan Christian mother. And you know, I have multiple children that I could be breastfeeding right now. I could be selling my proteins on Facebook Live. But no, I'm here to defend my husband against some online Maleficent attacks over his genuine love of classic Disney values. This is Jonathan Van Bershkirk, okay? Beautiful man with a beautiful name. Just drink that in. That is a very real district attorney in Nevada that I am married to. Yeah, okay? And last week he got in some hot water because he took on Disney's kowtowing to woke culture, okay? He's being literally crucified over it. Yeah, and I'm here to myth bust some lip fibs that are out there because my husband, yeah, he's not gonna go there, but Angie von Verschkirk, Angie von Verschkirk, uh, yeah, she's gonna go there. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna go there. There is a puzzle piece missing here, folks, okay? Something missing that ties everything together. And that is this one universal basic truth, and that is this, Disney makes us horny, okay? Horniness keeps our marriage alive. I'm talking the moment the front wheel of our plane touches Orlando soil, my husband, he's rock hard. My underpants are soup. It's an avalanche of ecstasy from there. <laughs> We're getting on the monorail and he's like, boy, whoa, 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 whoa. We're waiting in line for 45 minutes at the Rainforest Cafe. And I'm like, uh-oh, Angie, Angie. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna have to wrap your Arizona State hoodie around your waist. Otherwise people behind you are gonna be slipping on the slime trail you're putting out, okay? <laughs> And the critical component to all this, you know, the glue that keeps us sticky, what keeps us working is that uh, we like it when Disney's a little bad, okay? That's what gets us off, okay? And you are taking that away from us. That's impacting our marriage. We're having a rumor for Christians in our marriage over that. I mean, I remember the good old days. We'd be on our log flume at Splash Mountain, you know, sing along to Blackface Prayer Rabbit. And I'd lean over my husband and I'd be like, zip a dee doo da zip your dee. You know, we'd be on Jungle Cruise and Trader Sam, you know, that crazy native cannibal witch doctor would pop up with his collection of tiny heads. And I'd lean over my husband and be like, mm, I'll take the tiniest head you got, daddy. Mm. We'd be on Pirates of the Caribbean and, and we'd be rooting on our favorite animatronic pirates as they auctioned off our favorite animatronic whores. And I'd lean over my husband and I'd be like, yeah, you know, I, I don't even have a pun or witticism there. I'd just be like, just come on my tits. Uh, <laughs> and that's what's at stake here, okay? Our pleasure. Because suddenly, what? I, I'm not allowed to cream my jeans as a wish upon a dream in the happiest place on earth? I mean, how is my husband supposed to public finger me without the implied N-words on Splash Mountain? How? You people that keep saying, oh, Disney for kids, Disney for kids, Disney for kids. No. That's tricks, bitch, okay? Disney is for adults. Show me one kid that's paying for five-day park hopper and two queen beds at Disney's Old Key West Resort, okay? Because it costs literally 11 guns to pay for a four-year-old to go to three days at Disney, okay? In conclusion, are we two Christian Republicans who get off on casual racism but still love magic? Yes! Get over it, okay? Now give us Trader Sam, give us the racist rabbit, give us the rapey robot pirates. Just don't take away our freedom to squirt till we hurt. Thank you.